folks. It's a bread hot day again here. We've missed all the thunderstorms in here in knots. We haven't had any rain or anything. It's been absolutely bread hot. Um, I've been doing bits and bobs. Nothing much, you know, everyday things that are boring to film. So over this week, if there's anything interesting, I'm just going to film little bits and then um, add them together with a, an update uh, later on. So um, yesterday my mum came to visit and she's bought me presents. So As you can see, I've now got two grapes. This one is uh, another green one. It just says green on the label, but I think up here there is the name. I don't, I'm going to look it up. I can't uh, read it because I haven't got my glasses on and it's too small. But they, uh, she says, I brought you another grape because yours don't look very good. But she's not seen it in a day or two. And look at it. It's perfectly fine. What's she on about? Anyway, I've got two now. So now is the problem of where to put them. I have a high idea, but I'll just take you and show you where I'm thinking of putting them. This area here, we normally cut it back. It's normally cut back by now. But as I perhaps told you in one of the other videos, I'm trying to climb over my uh, some of my stuff. In here is Mrs. Blackbird, isn't it, Freya? Freya's here again. She likes Mrs. Blackbird, don't you? You'd like to get hold of her, wouldn't you? Right. I don't know whether she's um, got any eggs yet. I can't remember where she is. I think she's here. Unless she's moved the nest. That was the nest just there, but you can't see. But she seemed, seemed to be in it. But they're still going in, so I reckon they've made another one. Uh, if I find it, I might have a little peep in and show you. But anyway, going back to what I was talking about, this area is normally cut. And I'm thinking of actually taking it all out if we can manage to dig down and get rid of this ivy. We've been trying to get rid of this ivy for years, but it just keeps coming back. I mean, I've got my roses and you can see they're all starting to come out. Um, over this side, if you can see the boards, that's a beautiful white, well, pink, like, very light pink to a white rose. Um, and if I cut all this down, there's nothing to hold it up. It grows through it. So I'm thinking, of taking it all out and what I'm thinking of is putting posts with wires on for the grapes and growing it all the way down this fence make the posts a bit higher than the fence posts and uh, that's I thought I was Mrs Blackbird again and so I have about three or four lines and just train it along and then back again um, for the full length of this but the problem is the fence needs replacing because when we cut this down it'll be in the same state as that so it's no good putting it up until we replace the fence so i think it might be a project for next year ah i see mrs blackbird i might be able to find out where she's gone i've seen her just go in so i'll go and have a look so we found mrs blackbird she's made a new nest higher up that must be because you keep sitting here and she must she was she was there just there and freya stands here all day so she must have been too close hey Frey, we were too close to her and so she's going to make another nest further up this is why i thought she'd vanished the other day when i didn't see her they move nests but there's no eggs in it right back to my presents so i have put some seeds in um, for some rosemary but I've, I've got three little tiny ones come up but my mum's gone and bought me a nice bush look really nice it's, we need smelly vision because that's gorgeous and she's bought me two money maker tomatoes she says to put outside because you can put them all outside I don't know where I'm going to put them. 
thank you, Mother. But she's giving me more problems, makes me more problems. But I was going to buy two. They were fifty reduced to fifty p in B and Q, uh, beef like beef steak ones and a uh, Italian one. And then because I'd got no change on me and I got to use my card, I hadn't got any cash. I put them back because I thought you can't use your card for a pound. Well, you might have been able to, but I felt a bit silly asking to use my card for a pound. Um, so it's a good job I didn't buy them because now I've got these two. And if you look, my blueberry's uh, doing quite well. I'm quite pleased with it. It's it's coming. And we'll just take you over here and show you my melons. They're happy. They're coming, not growing too fast. Um, I've found other years that they get leggy and then they don't hold their own weight and they're flopping all over everywhere. So I'm trying actually to make them have thicker stems, not force them, just let them come steady. Um, and it seems to be working up to yet. They might go a bit more leggy as they get higher up, but the thicker bottom stem you can start off with the better in my opinion well that's it for for this little clip i will be showing you different things over the week that i've had to do but uh, nothing major i've tied myself out of the weekend so no no digging or well, not right. much anyway the next problem i've had is the cabbages they've been wilting no matter how much water i've put used use these bottles to put it into the ground so i'm not putting it on them so they don't get scorched they've been practically laying down so i've had to oh climbing over again put this fleece it blows about so the breeze gets under and it just keeps the direct sun off them and they're really happy now so and same with my beans i've got a wigwam up lot and it's just shielding the direct sun when it comes my point past the camera it comes from over there in the morning and it just about scorches them if you can see some of them haven't recovered whether you can see, you can see that one at the back of the leaves and I water straight into the ground so it's not as though I'm putting water on them and scorching them. I've got flowers on me. I nearly said tomato plants then. It's this sun it's getting to be <laughs> with potatoes. And you saw this bed I was filling it the other day. Now we have one, two, three, four more courgettes in. And one, two, three, four, five butternut squash. And these are more bush ones. So they won't be crawling all over everywhere. Well, so they say the bush ones, but I've seen a little um, stringy thing already. One of them that cling onto things. Um, so we will see, but that's what the packet says. Ideal for pots. And these are my spares, so I've decided to shove them in this bed. Um, but again, as you can see, I've had to shield them from the sun because even shielding this one, it's still a bit droopy look. It's not good. It's that hot up the top of this garden all the time, all day, from early in the morning till right to get a little bit of shade over there very late afternoon but it's intense all the time this is the bed that had all the fruit on it and I've dug this end and put some thinner horticultural uh, weed suppressant down and I've moved my mini pumpkins from pots into here. And they're, they're looking all right. I've potted up my lettuce. 
Are they going to live here? Along there? Oh dear, somebody's shouting me. I said these were going to be pretty. Very nice. I thought they was actually going to be yellow because when they close look it's more a yellowy colour. But they're not the white. Really pretty. So that basket is looking lovely. I'm really pleased with that basket. And this is the other one that I said was uh, multicolour. I thought it was going to be edged like the other one, but it's not. It's a stripe. It's uh, really pretty. So I'm quite pleased with that. So that's pretty. Like I said, from the, that other basket from this side with the purple. It's really looking nice. I'm quite pleased. I didn't say so myself. I have done a good job of these. They're going to look really nice all summer. The apple tree that uh, I moved. The apples on it are looking quite nice. They've not dropped off. So I don't think I could have uh, disturbed it too much with the move. That's looking quite nice. We might have lost a few because they don't look as full. So we might have uh, might have knocked a few off actually. But actually it, it might be for the best because there only seems to be about two on each end, which is about right. You don't want too many. Up there there's another another two. I'm sure there was more than this. So actually I think we've lost a few but Save me taking some off because I think you don't need too many on each station and at the end of each branch. The new watering system is nearly complete. It's uh, taking a bit of uh, doing. I've been at it about three days and we've not finished. If you can see that goes up into all the pots. If you, if you can see, the, just look for the little red ends of the, where the water comes out. I've got a lot of pots to, to do but I'm hoping to be finished in another couple of days. More flowers coming out. I don't know what these are going to be like when they, when they uh, come out but they're looking nice. All my herbs pricked out seem to be doing well. That's my deal. I think this one is curry. No. That's parsley. These are lobelia. They're chervil. I've just potted my peppers. Well, some of them I've not actually met, put them in a bigger pot. I've just replaced the compost because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, these at this end I've put in a bit bigger pots because they were a bit bigger. And something else I wanted to show you. Can you remember the beans I chittered? Well there's the little, they're the, the little beans, the little um, French beans, the purple ones that I, I did. And on the floor down here, are the climbing green, runner, uh, not runner beans, um, French beans. If you saw me when I chittered them and put them in, they're doing really well. Um, my cosmos and my African marigolds are doing well. I've had to bring my carrots in here to be a bit shaded because they couldn't stand the sun either. So I've, had to, I've been having to shuffle things around all over the place. Um, I can't get, this is the trouble, I've got no feet space 
over here we've got more hold on more lobelia and there's a coriander tarragon finally my spring onions have come up and i'm gonna to have to move them because they're looking like they're dry so we'll put them over into the shade and they're dry as well they're my uh, garlic i'm gonna to have to water them this is the trouble with that top shelf it gets far too hot I'll put them there and i'll have to come and give them some water the basil in here are doing fine i've only lost one they're doing good and all my tomato plants are the same as when I brought you in here the other day. The only thing added was the lettuce, which I've just shown you. I'm just trying to turn around. My bush cucumbers are looking really nice. Um, I've got some mustard spinach to put out. Um, this, these flowers and stuff weren't sorting. I've... Uh, got far too much to do I'm trying to I can't see ah my petunias and look what I found on my petunias you little horrible nasty here we go again to get the slug pellets out even in this heat the blooming things are out so the outside tomatoes are doing nice they went in first um, when it gets really hot I undo the front of this I undo it yesterday because this corner once the sun gets round to it, there's another scorching little spot. So they're doing fine. I'll have to get in there and maybe pick any side shoots off. But uh, I quite like this. I might get another one for the melons next year. We've already started harvesting the kale. So I'm going to start freezing some. Um, this is the Swiss chard. I had this with uh, some eggs and an omelette this morning. Um, but the kale is now not that big, but it's getting uh, to the point where it's just going over onto the lettuces. So where it's growing onto the crops, so we can we can um, grow things in a tight space. We. Uh, start picking the leaves off so this is going in here and in the fridge and if I don't decide to make something with it tomorrow oops wrong way around then it will go in a bag and go into the freezer freezing my kale and my chard now I just shove it in a bag and put it in the freezer or tie a knot in the bag or put a tie around it but um, I don't bother chopping it up or anything because once it freezes um, and it's been in the freezer a bit and you, you can just crunch the bag and it all breaks up into little tiny pieces saves you chopping it um, and that's all there is to it 